The ergonomic chair is the perfect metaphor for unenlightenment. Here in our modern industrialized um, countries, societies, a baby is born and then everybody in that baby's life, society, the mother, goes on a concerted, disciplined effort to ruin the poor thing's spine. In, in pre-industrial, um, natural human societies, babies are carried on the mother's back or, you know, constantly held. Um, they crawl around in dirt. When they get a little bit bigger, they, they're passed from person to person to person. They're, they probably sleep with, you know, the mom or the dad or the kids, the other kids or something like that. But in our societies, we take the poor little thing and first of all, we make it very, very clean and keep it clean the whole time. I'm calling a person an it. <laughs> That's okay. Then they take the poor little thing and they put it in a car seat or push it around in a in a buggy or those things that you know it keeps their spine like round like this and and you put the baby in it and the baby sleeps in it and then you lift it up and you swing it to try to make the baby sleep and then you pick it up and you go put it in the car and then you pick it up and you take it out of the car and you go into the grocery store and you go shopping and then you come back and you pick the baby's hardly ever picked up and it just spends most of its time on its back and kind of in this rounded position then we have a few years where we get kind of run around and be fairly normal, but, you know, we're put into chairs that have backs on them, and then we're sent to school and spend hours and hours and hours sitting in those terrible little desks that we can slump down on. on. And then uh, we start going to work, and we're like, oh, my gosh, something's wrong with this person's spine. We have to get them an ergonomic chair. And so... Uh, that, you know, to keep, oh, and then cars, right? You know, the seats just kind of keep you like this the whole time. And our backs were not designed to uh, be that way all the time. And so the human being over time just takes that and turns that into the, what feels to them like their natural way of being. And then you've always kind of got this sore in your back, you know, some people's backs just completely pop out. Our knees go bad, our hips go bad, our shoulders go bad, our necks go bad because our heads are always like this, right? There's there's a gal, Esther Gokhale, and I'll leave a link who is doing some really good work to help us learn how to overcome this for our backs. But so then we start out with a fairly modest ergonomic chair and couches and oh those chair those big uh lazy boys that you sit on it totally supports your back and then you can you know go back further 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 and, <laughs> and so we spend then our whole lives compensating for the fact that our backs don't work well, they don't work the way that they're designed. And then we create all sorts of stories in our head. Oh, my back went out. Oh, my neck went out. Oh, you know, it's, oh, I got to go to the doctor. I got to, I got to this, I got to that. And we just create story after story after story about why it's happening, but never actually address the fact that we were like pushed into this unnatural position from the moment that we were born. Exact same thing with our spirituality. From the moment we're born, we're like just told stories that don't make sense. And um, sometimes we're st told these stories very forcefully. And if you don't believe this, you're going to hell, you know? And then we get, we get older and we decide to go on our own spiritual path, but we're using the same uh, misconceptions 
in order to create this spiritual path. And, and the new age spiritual path that's been created is totally a, a spiritual journey of compensation. So it's just like getting the ergonomic chair. You know, you're constantly trying to make your back feel better. And that's exactly what the whole manifesting and the Course in Miracles and all these things are just attempts to make us feel better about the fact that something's wrong and we don't know what it is. Now, the true enlightened teacher is kind of like a person who knows how to use their back correctly. And so their back is not sore. They don't need an ergonomic chair. They can go through their lives um, and live it. And that is what the enlightened being is. They actually know, they have gone through and gotten rid of all the lies. And so the truth of who we actually are is able to come through. So just always, so we have this perfect metaphor. There's probably ergonomic chairs all over your house. Like every chair is going to have a back on it. Your couch has a back on it. You're lazy boy. You sit and watch um, TV. You're probably sitting and watching this movie on some sort of an ergonomic chair, something that's uh, protecting, protecting, <laughs> protecting, <laughs> protecting your back when it's actually the thing that's causing the destruction of your back. And this is the exact same thing with all of our spiritual beliefs and our so-called spiritual path that, you know, it's like, so the person who doesn't know where they're going is the person who creates the spiritual path for us. Both of these things are kind of nuts. So just kind of think about it. Now, my teacher taught, don't believe anything. Get rid of the beliefs. And um, it's a very arduous uh, journey to go on because it leaves you kind of just on a precipice all the time. But the thing is, is that when you're going there, you do not have the ability to tell, well, this belief is actually kind of a good one, and this belief is kind of a nuts one. You, you don't have a way to tell that. And so just every time you see your ergonomic chair or you see your couch, just realize the exact same thing has been done to your mind, to your sense of self, which... Um, for most people are very uh, tightly entwined uh, tip. Your mind has nothing to do with your sense of self. That's also an illusion, but hey, we'll go there some other day. But every time you see your chair, just realize, okay, this thing that is supposedly going to help my back is actually making it worse. Same thing with almost all of our, 99.9% .9 of our spiritual beliefs, spiritual attempts, I want to call it a spiritual attempt, are making it worse. Simply knowing that puts you in a state of, well, what? And that's the place you want to be.